いらっしゃいませ Starving. Now we're talking. Pretty tasty. Thanks. ありがとうございました。Stay down. いらっしゃいませ。Starving. I'm starting to feel pretty tasty. Thanks. ありがとうございました。いらっしゃいませ。Really, guys? Let's hit it. Starving. It's pretty tasty. Thanks.
らっしゃいませ。ありがとうございましたおう、サーリーさん。Yagami san made it. Sorry for the wait. I ran into some typical nonsense. We good to go? I've been good to go for a while. Ehara is waiting, and so are the answers. First thing we'll want to try to get is how involved he was in Mikoshiba's murder. From the way it's been so far, I doubt he'll be eager to tell you. If he won't open up, we'll have to play the trump card. Yagami san. Ehara won't know what hit him. I don't mind being the ace in the hole. Are you and your ego ready then, Yagami san? Well, this ain't my department. Fill me in back at the office, okay? <laughs> I might even tidy the place up a bit if you're lucky. Lots of open bottles to polish off. Are we leaving? I thought you'd lost already. <clears throat> so, what more could my lawyers want from me here? Well, normally I would say the same. However, a corpse turned up as you said it would. It turns out you have a pension for prophecy, Ahara-san. <laughs> prophecy, huh? Kinda dramatic. No Hoshino today? Did you fire the poor guy? Yagami is my name, sir. In a past life, I used to work with Genda and Saori-san. But today, I'm in Serio High School in a contract advisory role for one of their clubs. Serio High School? It's the same school Toshiro-kun went to four years ago. You'd know it. I happened to be out there working a separate case. But that was when Shirosake-sensei called, so that's why I'm here. Well, well. Okay. Why are you here, then? That'd be obvious at this point, I'd think. As you know, Mikoshiba turned up as you said. His body was found in a warehouse. The question is, why did you know that well enough to proclaim it in court? Ha <laughs> You might say it was a miracle. I wished hard enough for it to come true, and suddenly it did. Care to tell us why you'd wish for a miracle like that? Do you really need me to explain why? Mikoshiba. You blame him for Toshiro-kun's death, don't you? I do. Even though when you took the school to court, no evidence turned up. A third-party investigation found no bullying occurred, didn't it? At school, Mikoshiba tortured my son. He would beat him up, and then he'd demand all his money. That damn kid was a star student with high grades. My son's own class wouldn't stand up to him. To avoid being beaten, Toshiro used to. He'd steal money from me or his mother to make sure he could pay Mikoshiba off. Ahara-san, you seem to know a lot about what happened to your son. Do you have any proof? Would I have lost if I did? That school can rot in hell for all I care. Speaking of, you know what I'm convicted for. It was being a pervert. I admit to everything. I groped a businesswoman's ass in plain sight on a full train. There's no way I'm fighting for an appeal. So as for my defense, I'm in no need of lawyers anymore. Ehara-san, just a second. Why would I give you that? Yagami-san, 
Hiromi Kashiba died in a lot of pain. His final moments were truly horrific. The last thing he felt must have been fear. After slitting his throat, his body was left to rot. <sighs> Doesn't that sound great? Take a look at this. Oh, Mikoshiba. <laughs> Looks like he's seen better days. Where'd you get the photo? From a teacher at Serio High. But where she got it is the interesting part. A strange woman gave it to her and said to stay away from the Mikoshiba case. <sighs> you remember Sawa Sensei, yes? She transferred to Serio four years ago, not long before your son passed away. Yeah, not a face I'd soon forget. She told the whole court he was never bullied. True. She did say that. And it's not just her I detest. The administrators. The lawyers. I felt like choking the life right out of them. But if anyone needed to pay, it was Mikoshiba. He got what he deserved. Nothing short of insane that they were just gonna let him get a teaching credential. It all comes back to a flawed and broken system of laws that has no business calling itself justice. And it was you, wasn't it? You orchestrated every aspect of how Mikoshiba would die. But you didn't act alone. Who were the people behind it? How'd you convince them to kill a man? <laughs> That's a good one. You my friend, are way off. The way that interview went, Ahara is definitely guilty. But if we can't connect him to the murderers, we're left with no leads to follow. Yeah. Kept that secret on lockdown, no matter what I asked. What could possibly link Ahara to those men? Damn it. And I was so close, too. To think they're still somewhere in Ijinjo. I need to find them before the trail goes cold. So you're heading back to Yokohama? Not tonight. Kaito's waiting for me in the office. I'll be in town for now. Okay. If anything changes, I'll contact one of you. Hello. <laughs> Tasty, thanks. Arigato gozaimashita! Irashiyaimase! Tasty, thanks. Arigato gozaimashita. Starving. 
starving. Pretty tasty, thanks. Kaito-san, I'm back. Kaito-san? Oh, uh, hey, did you see that email from Tsukumo? Huh? Uh, it wasn't that long ago. It's something you gotta see, though. What is it? Something happened? It's the murder footage. Mikoshiba's murder ended up on the internet. It's going viral on all the social media sites. Uh, you gotta forgive me. I'll do anything you want. I didn't know he'd do it. I swear. Toshiro Kun was okay. I didn't think. I didn't know he'd kill himself. I really didn't know. I swear I'll try to make it up to him somehow. I'll spend the rest of my life making up for it. <laughs> What the hell? Stop it, stop it, for this, doesn't he? They already found him guilty, and that's the whole reason he couldn't have killed Mikoshiba, right? But if that's the case, what the hell is this? One way or another, either this thing is staged, or his entire alibi was a massive cover-up. They can't both be true. But there's something I just can't shake. If you want my opinion on it, this looks real. I need to have another chat with Ahara. Damn it. I'm not gonna let him get away with this. A train groping and a murder seem to occur simultaneously. Yagami relentlessly pursues these cases, attempting to poke holes in each. After confronting Akihiro Ehara, the key figure in both crimes, he witnesses a harrowing video that provides more questions than answers. In it, a bound man pleads for his life, but his attacker, bound by vengeance, snuffs it out. So the murder footage is already making the rounds online. I don't think it's showing up on TV, though. Yeah, the net's a mess right now. It's all unsubstantiated rumors and unverified sources. Typical, really. An ex-cop going from by-the-book sex offender to vigilante avenger overnight is prime forum drama. Sentiment seems to be swinging in favor of Ehara, but there's plenty of folks on the fence about it, too. The reactions have been all over the board. Do we know if that video is authentic? 
I mean, CG has come a long way, right? Oh, or perhaps a deep fake. That is plausible. AI has reached the point where it can generate pretty convincing facsimiles. Someone even made a video that made it look like the U.S. president was saying a bunch of crazy stuff. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Deep fakes are only getting more authentic looking. Can't guys like you tell if a video is fake or not, though? Aren't there any signs? Oh, there are several telltale signs of a video being doctored. So I ran every check I could think of on the murder footage. And wouldn't you know it, nothing came up. Most likely, we're looking at the real deal. Most likely? Well, no one can claim with absolute certainty that it wasn't altered in some way. Which means it's not substantial enough to prove Ihara's guilt. At least not in a court of law. Gotcha. Do you know when and where the footage was uploaded? It was posted sometime last night, but the source is too hard to pin down. The uploaders spread it across multiple servers overseas in a well-concerted effort to hide their tracks. Makes sense. But I'll bet it ultimately came from Mikoshiba's killers, no matter how real or fake it is. How do you figure? Think about it. No one could have staged that unless they knew the specifics of how Mikoshiba was killed. From how he was positioned to little things like the blood on the ground, every last detail was just as the detectives described it. That's a good point. <sighs> All this browsing's really taken a toll on the old pinky. Looks like another visit to Ehara might clear things up. You should ask Shirosaki-sensei about it. Yeah, that was my thought too. Ah, let me get this straight. Ehara went and felt a lady up on the day Mikoshiba got killed on purpose? Oh, if that's the case... Why the hell would he upload a murder confession after the fact? Is he trying to get caught? Only Ahara could answer that one for you. I want to ask him that question myself. So, we're off to see Saori-san then? Let's hit it. Stay down. Let's roll, Tom. Oh, hold the door, please. Huh? Mafia, you. you're here? It's been too damn long, Mafia John. Yeah. By any chance, Yagami kun. Are you working on a case for Saori? Hmm? 
A video got leaked. It depicted a man committing a murder. Are you here about the Ahara case too? Of course. The prosecutor's office is in total chaos right now. Especially the higher-ups. I'll bet. After all, they're the ones who pushed for Ahara's battery conviction. If that video is real, that would mean Ahara got them to hand him a slap on the wrist instead of a murder conviction. Yes. And it's not like the prosecution can say, Sorry, Your Honor, we'd like a do-over, after the fact. To make matters worse, everything leading up to the trial was broadcast all over the news. Changing our tune now would undermine public trust. That's for sure. So, for the time being, our department is trying to predict how the defense will approach the situation. Hence why they sent me here to check in on my good friend's salary. Totally no strings attached. <laughs> well, that clears up a lot. There you kids are. I figured you had to show up sometime. Mafia? You? You're caught up in this too? Yeah, she ran into us downstairs. I'm sure you can work out that I'm here to spy on you. But wouldn't you like to know what we're up to as well? Are you sure that's your only motive coming here? Sorry? Something like a professional excuse to see Yagami-san? <laughs> in your dreams? I had no idea Yagami-kun was involved until just now. All right. I'll accept that. For now. <laughs> Gotta say, I miss this little banter. Needless to say, our office is going through this footage with a fine tooth comb. That said, they've already determined their stance. They've deemed it an unreliable source, and therefore useless as evidence. Basically, they want it to look like it was considered, and already thrown out. Huh? So, they're not gonna verify the video? Not even question Ahara about Mikoshiba? Nothing? Nope. Not after it was proven in court that Ahara committed sexual battery on October 7th. I mean, wouldn't you say a conviction has a certain finality to it? Besides, there's no way Ehara could have murdered Mikoshiba within that limited time span. Right. Which means the murder video doesn't really add up, does it? What are you getting at? I'm saying the prosecution believes the video has been falsified. Special effects, CGI, whatever it is, we're not buying it. Huh. Furthermore, the prosecutor pushing that stance was the one who handled Ahara's trial. And that is... His name is Sadao Takano. He was the one gunning the hardest for Ahara the first time around, especially considering his officer status. He kept insisting justice be served, which got the public behind him rather quickly. He certainly looked the part of the people's prosecutor, grilling Ahara in court. So what you're saying is, Takano could never accept anything but Ahara's original sentence since this footage of the murder contradicts that finding. He just thinks it's a sham. Yes, and he'd add that a fair trial's result can't be challenged by some video on the internet. Well, who could honestly trust a system that changes its mind so easily? Both the prosecutor's office and the court are beholden to the case as Takano-kun presented it. But that's just sweeping the issue under the rug. It has a domino effect, too. The police are beholden to the verdict we got, so their hands are tied. This applies to both Tokyo and Kanagawa. Really? Why's that? Supposedly, they don't want to get involved with Ehara until they're sure the video is real. They come in with a list of questions about the murder. It'll show that doubt's being cast on the original ruling. Yeah, but no one can prove that the video's real. Right. There's no way to verify the legitimacy of an untraceable video. But if the police aren't allowed to see Ahara, he'll never even become a suspect in the murder. 
That means he's untouchable. Exactly. None of the detectives are happy about that. Especially down in Kanagawa. Their job is to bring in a suspect, but their leads are all ending up at the same dead end. Until recently, people were lining up to bring a heart to justice. Yet somehow, his involvement in a murder totally derailed that. Don't be so surprised. No cop would ever want to undermine a ruling based on their own findings. Anyone who wants to go against the grain's gonna need hard evidence on their side. So the case goes cold, all to save face for the court and the prosecution. If Ahara really did commit murder, it'll have been the perfect crime. This debacle only serves as proof. True. It would turn the trial into a farce. There's no way we're letting this go. But wouldn't challenging this mean going up against the entire system? Yeah. That scare you? Not at all. In fact, I was just thinking, we're the only ones who could take a case like this. Ha! <laughs> That's the good shit, kid. This whole time, we've been writing off Ahara as a convicted sexual predator. But it's looking more and more likely the court played right into his hand. As for me, I'm done being played for a fool. Then you've heard what I came to say. And with that, I will be on my way. But if you need help, just ask. I think we're good for now, but thanks. That did clear up a lot. No problem. See ya. Man, was Mafuyu-chan cuter than ever or what? Think maybe it's time to light that flame again, huh? How many times do I have to tell you it's not like that? Anyway, what I'd like to do is ask Ahara about that video face to face. Any chance we could see him again? I was actually about to suggest that. Uh, one moment. It's from Ahara's prison. What? Hello? Yes, this is Shirosaki. Yes, I can talk. His prison? Why would they call us directly? Guess we'll find out. Understood. I appreciate the candor. That was one of the prison wardens. He was asked to convey a message from Ahara. About what? In short, he won't be speaking with his representation any further. You're joking. To be more specific, he said he's not taking any more questions. It seems he fully grasps the situation, even in custody. How... How is that even possible? I'm guessing the murder footage that was uploaded yesterday was also planned out in advance. That or Ahara's conspirators have to be filling him in. How else could he predict we'd try to see him again so soon? I can see either of those scenarios making sense. But only someone on the force could be leaking insider information to him like that. Damn. This shit's turning into a full-blown conspiracy, eh, Tuck? Whatever it is, it's screwing up our plans. Yeah, the timing couldn't have been worse. Now what are we supposed to do? Come on, there are plenty of leads that don't involve grilling the culprit. Yeah? I'd like to hear them. Well, if it were me, I'd start with Sauriku. Okay. The first thing I want to learn is whether Ehara is really the murderer in this footage. Given the entire sexual battery incident as an alibi, there is no way he could have murdered Mikoshiba. However, this new footage knocks the bottom out of that premise. Right. Either his alibi or the murder footage. One of the two's been fabricated. I think we should revisit the harassment case. When the sentence came down in court, no one expected it to end up as a murder alibi. Plus, everyone suspected Ahara was working alone. He may have not been. All this makes a huge difference.
No one would suspect a train groping to involve accomplices or alibis. The search for evidence wouldn't be as intense as for a murder. But the entire incident was caught on camera, top to bottom. There's more than enough physical evidence, too. Then we'll need to verify each and every aspect of the case. Okay, what first? Should we investigate the crime scene again? Maybe we'll discover something new if we check out the station during the crime's actual time frame. No, I think we saw everything we could there. Actually, if we're reviewing evidence, we could do that from right here, couldn't we? What catches your eye specifically? I ask because fabricated evidence would likely show signs of tampering. This would prove Ehara's alibi doesn't hold up. This part's still getting to me. The Shinjuku Station Diagram? Did something happen at the platform? Well, the majority of the incident was caught on camera. But I don't think we have any footage of what happened around here. It's not much, but it's a blind spot all the same. Hoshino Kun and I confirmed that at the scene. Okay, but how would this blind spot change anything? The first thing that comes to mind is, gives Ahara a chance to swap with the stand-in. The real Ahara murdered Mikoshiba and Ijinsho at 7.30, then headed to Shinjuku Station. Then, just after 9 o'clock, he swapped places with the stand-in, getting caught on purpose. So you're suggesting that there were two Aharas at Shinjuku Station? Yep. And the true assailant, the Ahara look-alike, disappeared into the crowd. Wait, if what you propose is true, does that mean Ahara had never touched the victim? Yeah. But the police inspection revealed trace fibers from the victim's clothing on Ehara's hand. Ugh, trace inspection. Yeah, so no matter what, the fact that Ahara touched the victim remains standing. The victim felt his hand reach under her skirt right after the train departed Ikebukuro. She was scared motionless for the entire commute until arriving at Shinjuku Station. Could you describe the victim for me? She's an office worker married to an industrial designer. Also has a six-year-old son. Full name, Yui Mamiya. 30 years old. A wife and mother. Perhaps if we talk to Mamiya-san directly, she could give us more insight than that video. She may even recall something none of us know, upon learning Ahara's alibi might have been fabricated. That's a good plan. We'll finally have a fresh source of info. In that case, give me a moment so I can get a meeting set up. We should have her address and other information somewhere on file. Bear in mind, Mamiya-san was the victim here. As the assailant's defense, I doubt we'll get a warm welcome. That's pretty standard for us, I'd say. Nobody rolls out the red carpet for a detective, right? Yeah. Say, Kaito-san, it looks like we've got some free time, so let's say we grab some food. Now that you mention it, I am getting hungry. They want something? Bet it's not a friendly hello. They do look like they mean business. This Arcade's idea of an ambush? How basic. Kaito san, there's more. Over there, too. Same losers from yesterday. Guess they want to settle the score. Looks like they rounded up some buddies and waited for us to show. Well, whatever the hell they want, let's not get Genda-sensei and them involved. Follow me. Okay.
All right, I'm getting fed up with this shit. Why haven't they made a move yet? It's like they're waiting for something. Whatever it is, they're taking their sweet ass time. Hey, quit dicking around and come get some. What the hell? They're just gonna keep stalking us? Nope, thanks for waiting, assholes. Oh, uh. Shit. Let me guess. You're RK2? Bastard went straight for our heads. Are you nuts, guy? Shut your mouth! That's one down. <sighs> Not out of the woods just yet. out on the backup. Is the whole town arcane now or something? Doc, we should probably get gone before the cops are in. Why? It's not our fault we're getting jumped. Guess their plan was to come at us in waves. Had it with this crap. Yeah. At this rate, we won't be meeting Sari San and the others. Wouldn't want to drag them into this. Good point. So why not hit RK at home? Yeah? Why not? Soma and Akatsu are at the top and they probably remember me. I'll just ask him real nice to keep their goons off our back. Unless you want to keep dealing with these fucking scrubs. I'm fine with making a house call. Any idea where it is? Yeah, a club in the back of Theater Square. It used to be arcade exclusive. Nowadays, I hear they let in thugs from all over. I admit, I'm kind of curious. Stay down. Let's 
Really, guys? Let's roll, Tom. Stay down. Let's hit it. This is it, Tuck. Get ready to meet some shady people. Yeah, shady is definitely the operative word here. Can't imagine this place gets a lot of foot traffic. Who knew an entrance to the underground was right here in broad daylight? All right. Let's get in there and be done with this. Hey, who the hell are you two? Got some invitations? The Yagami Detective Agency doesn't need any. Say, is Akutsu or Soma around? Detectives, huh? There a problem here? This is a public business, isn't it? About time you showed up. We've been expecting you. <laughs> Nothing like running into an old friend. You want to talk to Akutsu-san, fine. But only Kaito gets in. Why? See, we all knew the Yakuza out in the cold would come around to us once the Tojo clan cleared out. <laughs> know what makes us such a hit? Who gives a shit? We got a system fleshed out. Your average gangbanger starts at rank F. But an ex-Yakuza, a Tojo head at that, fast track right to B rank. Oh, and just for you, Kaito-san. The boss says he'll start you out at A. Yeah, I'm sure you've got your pick of the chumps. But I'm here to talk to a fucking adult man. So get stepping and take me to Akutsu. Spoken like a man with some balls. I can see why Akutsu's had his eye on you. What? So I really have to just wait in the lobby? You should thank your lucky stars you're not dead yet. I don't know about this, Kaito-san. What if you need backup?
Relax, Tark. All I gotta do is talk man to man with Akatsu real quick, and we'll be out of here. You heard the man. Now come on. Well, if it's gonna be that quick, I'll just wait right here. <laughs> do whatever you want. You're shit for business. Ah, oh, come on. Don't you want to be friends? Hey, uh, think I could use your restroom? There's one inside, right? Go shit on the cement for all I care. Restrooms are for guests only. So, you and RK2? I take it business is good lately. Oh, hell yeah. Recruits are swarming in by the dozen. If you're looking for quick cash at Kamrocho, RK is where it's at. Plenty of hotties, too. <laughs> wow. And all you do is fool around on your phone. Talk about living on Easy Street. Screw you. Hey, not my fault they don't loop you into the good jobs. Bet those only go to the A rank guys. You must be, what, F? F minus? The fuck did you just say? Oh, did I offend you? Sorry. Guess some gangbangers are softies. I'll show you who's soft, asshole! <laughs> Sorry. Getting split up from my buddy does make me kind of an asshole. Suspicious.
How'd that new guy get taken to? Oh, uh, I heard Akutsu-san wanted to see him. For real? Was he taken to the VIP room then? Sounds like it. Psh, even I've never gotten in there. What makes him such a big shot? Sorry, man. Take a quick breather. You there! Uh, yes? Can I help you? You better stop fucking around! Didn't I ask you for another round? Huh? Another round? You forgot my order already? I want my bottle. Y yeah. yeah, I'll get right on that. Wait a minute. You know what? Fuck the bottle. How about you just mix me a cocktail? But of course. sir. Too close. 
Oh. <laughs>